at the end of the day, like no matter your skill set, no matter your talent level, if you just go put in like 16, 18, 20 hours of work in in a day and do it day after day after day after day, like things will happen for you. You will experience some successes. It's just a fact. Nothing significant comes easy. So many people sitting on the sidelines waiting for an opportunity to come, waiting to figure out what they're really passionate about to then go all in and put insane amounts of work ethic, uh, work ethic in. Uh, waiting on the sidelines until they can find you know, that, that dream job and so then you had to look at these areas where you said, okay, I, I could go all in here. I could go all in there. I could go, go all in there. Might as well go all in on the one that I actually enjoy doing, uh, which I absolutely love because, you know, I've always said that I would, I'll take someone within our business. I'll take someone and bring them on board that has an ounce of talent and a ton of hard work ethic versus somebody with a ton of talent, but an ounce of hard work ethic all day Every long time. because yep. I'm coachable, teachable. And I can imagine your mindset, you were extremely coachable uh, and teachable at that time. So man, I, I, I love that. It's also inspiring to people uh, and really encouraging to anybody that does go out and try some new things to realize that, hey, like in, in six months, in a year, in two years, I may not realize that this was like, I was born to do this, but I may find something that I just absolutely enjoy. You've heard the phrase, it's, it's easiest to find a job when you have one. Uh, that's, that's what it means. It means while you're while you're trying to figure out what you're most passionate about, put an insane amount of work ethic into what you're doing currently, because that in itself will create opportunities that you can get passionate about. You're not gonna, you cannot just sit down one day and get a blank piece of paper and say, okay. What is my dream career? What is my, what is my passion that I want to go all in on? These things will happen over time and it comes from putting in massive action, massive effort over a period of time for those, for those passions to evolve, for you to, for you to create more self-awareness, for you to have a better idea of who you are and what your strengths are. How can you figure out what your strengths are if you don't try things? And to me, I've gotten so intrigued by this idea of just being happy. <laughs> it sounds crazy, like this idea of being happy, but it's true. Like within careers, so many people get into a career because they were just good at it and they kind of got stuck into this mold that now 10, 20, 30, 40 years later, they've been stuck in all their life. And sometimes success can be the greatest tar pit uh, of our happiness because mm -hmm. when we're successful in what we're doing, it makes it even more difficult. Uh, so the yep. fact that, man, you chose a path that you knew would ultimately create that happiness and that fulfillment is freaking awesome. The principles of hard work over a long period of time consistently will always win.